Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab where we will leverage AWS Code Pipeline to do continuous delivery of CRUD application. Now, what does this mean? This means that we will make some changes to our application on local computer and then we will push this change to code commit and code pipeline will respond to this change in code on code commit by triggering code build which will create the application package and store it on the s3 artifact store for code build to consume it and deploy on the single EC2 instance. That is exactly what this workflow will do. And we have done this before in case of sample node app. Now we are doing this for CRUD application with DynamoDB. So for that, let us click on create pipeline. And here, click on, let us give this the name, CP CRUD. And let us leverage the existing service role. And this was created when we used code pipeline for sample node app. Advanced settings, we will use the default location of artifact store and encryption key. And if you need to refresh these concepts, please refer to the conceptual as well as the lab session of code pipeline where we have discussed the concepts of S3 artifact store and why do we need encryption and everything in detail and things like source artifact, build artifact, input and output artifact. So we have discussed all this, right? So uh, in the interest of time, I'm not repeating myself here, but in case you need to refer, please feel free to do so. And next, the source provider is going to be code commit and our yeah, repository is CRUD app and branch master and we will rely on CloudWatch events to trigger code build as soon as uh, an event occurs and that event is a code push on code commit rather than code pipeline uh, checking it in every few minutes or seconds whatever the, the schedule is and output artifact format and we are going to keep it default no changes here next now for build we will use code build and you can choose to create a new project and in this case because we know how to create project so there's no point doing that time and again we have done this enough times in this course so we will actually leverage the existing project that we have which is crud cv and this is a single build next and deployment and we will leverage code deploy and these are the options available we have already gone through this right code deploy in this region and application name once again we already have an application with us correct and we will do the deployment group since it's only one EC2 instance. And for one EC2 instance, we had used CRUD app CD DG, if I'm not wrong, and we can refer to this once again. Let us go to code deploy and let us open EC2 as well. We need to ensure that the EC2 is up and running as well. That is why in previous section, we did not delete any resources because I had planned to leverage these resources otherwise recreating them and you know it was a waste of your time hence i thought of saving some time and dashboard instances yes so we have crud server and code deploy application this is the application and this is the one that we are selecting and it should basically use ec2 yeah let us edit this and yep name crud server so i think we are good so this is the ec2 instance that this code deploy deployment group will deploy the application to so we are good to so please so please please take care of the fact that whatever application and deployment group specifically deployment group that you are selecting this deployment group has 
one EC2 instance available and the EC2 instance is up and running. Next. I think we are good. Let us click on create pipeline. And if we have done everything right, then first of all, yep, this is already in progress. And then the build will happen and then the deployment will happen. And then once this is successful, we will go back to our application, make some changes, push the code, and we'll see how soon this reacts. And in the meantime that this is happening, why don't we go ahead and start making the changes? We will not push it. So once again, let us change the colors. Okay. And... Okay. It's completely up to you. Whatever color you want to change. I have changed the color of index.ejs. And in the meantime, let us check here. So build is in progress. And as you know, you can check that when you click on details as to where it is. Okay. So get status. All right. So this is unstaged. Get add. Now this is staged. Get hyphen M. No, git commit rather. Hyphen M, this is the message. And here, now the deployment is in progress. Build is good. Git commit hyphen M. And this time, the message is changed index color for code pipeline. I'm us using short form get commit will go through and we will not do get push unless this deployment is successful and we will see that the ec2 instance has the application up and running right now 8080 okay Okay, code pipeline. It is currently deploying. Succeeded. It says succeeded. So if it is successful, then the application should be up. Why isn't up? Okay. EC2 instance. It did the deployment on CRUD server. Security. The port should be. Yep. Oh. Oh, we have done something here. Port 8080 is only open for application load balancer. We were demonstrating this, that we can make our overall application more secure, the architecture more secure. So let us edit this and let us make it open to all. Okay. And edit inbound rules. So see, whenever you see this... this continuously trying to make something it means that there is something wrong with the port hence we will yeah this is where it is okay and this will be from all the ip addresses save rules i think we should be good now CRUD server, security, 8080 from everywhere. Oh, and there you go. Is it the new? Yeah, this, this was the latest application that we had. Great. So it is working. If you want, you can change the, you can test the APIs as well. I will actually first make the change and test our code pipeline, and then we will test the API. Okay. So right now, this is the index.html page or EJS page. Ultimately, the, what is getting rendered is HTML. So this is the index page here. And when we will change this, this will be the color. Okay. So get push. And now the magic should happen. Code pipeline. Where are we with source we are waiting 
Okay. Succeeded just now. Great. Build is in progress and now deployment will happen after build. So this is the beauty of code pipeline. And once this is true, let me update the value of EC2 in our Postman app. Agent rather, EC2. This is the latest value. Please ensure that you remove the trailing forward slash update. And EC2, because this is where we made the change. Yes. 65085105. Just hover the pointer, mouse pointer, or the pointer simply, and you will get the value. And where is code pipeline? Deployment is in progress. So the deployment has just succeeded and let us refresh the page again so it has changed okay it's not looking that bad at least it is better than the red or crimson or whatever color we had before okay so create table i'm not referring to the ui for dynamodb if you want we can always do that but we can understand by the response that things are getting through we are not getting an error. This is the success response tables. Yep, it got created. Insert data. And if you want, you can experiment with the data that you're inserting. That's completely up to you for as long as you are abiding by the format, right? And you can refer to the AWS docs for that as well. Send, new item added successfully. Here you go, read. And this is the data that you're reading, update. So it should be, rating should be 9.5 and the actor's name should be updated. We have seen this before. Yep, 9.5 and actors are there. Mr. Nicholson and Miss Hunt. I cannot say this enough, I'm a big fan. And delete data. Oh, we have to delete the data. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. And delete table. And the table is deleted. Obviously, where will the data be if the table doesn't exist? And that's it. So you have successfully done the continuous, I wouldn't say deployment. You can say that. But this is the continuous delivery, and I won't get into the fine line between the deployment and delivery. The jury is still out, so let's not get into that. So we have done the continuous delivery of our CRUD application. In next lab session, we will do the same continuous delivery of CRUD application, but on a fleet of EC2 instances backed by ASG, managed by ALB. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next session.